Hi, I am Carla Medina and my professor is Ms. Jennifer Lambeth and my class is Individual Income Taxes. The article that I'm going to go over today is an article by USA Today that was published on July 4th of this year. The article covers the, a stimulus check update that was proposed by the Democratic Party and it has enough votes from the Republican Party as well. The proposal includes a $300 monthly payment for dependents under the age of six and $250 payments for all other dependents. Included in this, in this proposal is that they will remove and earning requirements from the full credit and also they just added a $2,000 baby bonus check which is that families that have babies born this year on the month that that baby was born they will receive a two thousand dollar lump sum payment so for instance if a family um has a baby that's going to be born in november they will receive a two thousand dollar lump sum payment just for having that baby this year for this to happen both parties must negotiate and come to terms for the stimulus check to pass as stated by usa today give both parties what they want a business tax cut for republicans and a child tax credit for democrats Currently, the child tax credit is $2,000 for dependents under the age of 17 and $500 payment for dependents over the age of 17 or other qualifying dependents. But currently, there is a, a credit. The credit does start to phase out when the adjusted gross income reaches a certain limit. For instance, joint salaries that have adjusted gross adjusted gross income when they reach four hundred thousand dollars it does start to phase out the credit does start to phase out and all other failures the phase out periods when the adjusted gross income is two hundred thousand dollars the phase out is fifty fifty dollars per a thousand dollars so with that being said a a joint failure that has one dependent and their adjusted gross income is $401,000, they will subtract $50 from the, from the dependent. So $2,000 minus $50, and their, adjust, their tax credit would be $1,950. If the stimulus check does pass, it will be beneficial for both for both parties and all income all income levels from lower income all the way to the higher income so including the middle the middle class because currently with inflation it is being hard for all all income levels and according to a Republican Richie Torres a third, a third lead co-sponsor said in 2001, the child tax credit reached more than 61 million children and lifted nearly 4 million of them out of poverty. So with this said, a stimulus check that was passed in 2001 was beneficial for lower income families and all other income levels as well. It does help tremendously, especially to the lower income families that do struggle with the economy right now and inflation. Um, they, it will help them pay for school supplies, pay for their necessities at the, house, at the home, and pay bills as well. So in my perf personal preference is I do think the stimulus check, if it is passed, it will be beneficial for all income levels. And there are some tweaks that should happen, but overall the stimulus check is a, a good tax credit for both, including business owners, um, families with business businesses. But overall, I do believe the stimulus check proposal should be passed and it'll be great for all income levels. Thank you. Have a good day.